So how does this offense, can this offense be elite with yeah. Deshaun Watson? Oh, I, I don't think there's any doubt. I, I, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of pieces here to go watch out. I mean, I'm a big fan of your tight end. I mean, no, the O-line's one of the best in football. You got the best running back in football. He's been the best running back in football the last two or three years in Nick Chubb. Um, you know, Amari Cooper and what he did. Uh, I, I, you know, the system itself, I do like it, right? And I think it's only going to grow with Watson and his skill set and his ability to, then their ability to tie play action pass together with that. Uh, yeah, I would, you know, maybe another receiver in the group, another weapon that way, right? But gosh, I, I look at it and go, yeah, I'd be shocked if this isn't a big time offense this year. You mentioned a wide receiver. Do you think it has to be kind of a, a, a fast, twitchy guy that you, you know, have Deshaun Watson throw a four yard completion that turns into a 12 yard game? Right. I mean, hey, listen, Amari Cooper is fast and twitchy. We know that, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. But, but uh, uh, hey, there's always the guy that can, you know, take the top off the defense, right? Those type of phrases or, or expand the field and open things up for everybody else. I certainly think there is some great value to that. I do. But it doesn't necessarily have to always be like, oh, a guy that runs 4-2 or 4-3. You know, it's, there's guys that maybe are a little bit bigger and run 4-4 four, four that you can still kind of figure that out with. Either way, they need another presence over there. I think that's what we're saying more than anything. You know, and how they deem that to be, big guy, fast guy, jitterbug guy, whatever, that's up to them. But I, I certainly think there's a, a little bit of a void there.